So this is a follow along practice video. I've included the link in the description below for you to download for free the image or images that I'm using. Yes! That's awesome! So go do that now. In this video, I wanted to cover the foreground and background colors and show you how you can change those colors. They're located at the bottom of the tools panel, right down here. The front square, mine's currently black, is the foreground color. The one underneath is the background color. Now the background color does not come into play very often. For instance, it is used in the gradient tool, which is right here. So if I were to choose the gradient tool, do you see in the options bar, it's saying that it will give me a gradient from black to white. So if I click inside my image and draw a line, it will change everything from black to white in a nice gradation. We'll get into this in later videos for sure, because it's really interesting. I'm going to command or control Z to get out of that. So the reason the foreground and background colors are significant is because the brush tool, the shape tools, the type tool, and many other features that apply color use the color in the foreground color box at the bottom of the tools panel. And there are multiple ways to set that foreground color. You can select the eyedropper tool and sample a color from the image. You can use the color picker, the color panel, or the swatches panel, which I'll cover in the next video. So what I would like to show you is the simplest way to select a color for your foreground color. Choose the eyedropper tool right here and hover over your image and click on the color you would like to sample. Like let's say I'd like to sample this light pink. Do you see how that loaded automatically into my foreground? And now I can swap the foreground and background colors by hitting this arrow right here, or I can tap the X key and that will also switch my foreground and background colors back and forth, which is really handy if I'm using it for painting on the image itself or on a layer mask. So now while I still have the eyedropper selected. I'm going to select a dark pink from my flower. And do you see how that loaded in the foreground now? And again, hit the X key or this double arrow to switch my foreground and background colors. This would allow me to hit B for the brush and I will change my blend mode back to normal. Whenever you choose a tool, just take a quick look at the options bar. Make sure your blend mode's at normal and your opacity's at 100%. Those are the two things that will make a tool not behave the way you think it should because Photoshop has sticky settings. It's going to remember the last setting you used, even if it was three days ago, and then you may not remember that you changed this. So always take a quick look at that. If you're unsure of what these settings are, if you just go up to the tool that shows at the front, I've chosen the brush tool, so that's the tool that is displaying. If you right click on that, you can just reset the tool and it'll reset all of these to the default values. I'm going to hit my right bracket key to make my brush bigger and I'm painting with some soft pink and you see how that works. Then I can hit the letter X and quickly switch over to start painting with the darker color. Now, if I want to go back to my default colors, I can either hit the D key for default color, or I can hit this little mini black and white foreground icon, and it will reset my color swatches to the default, which is black and white. And again, I can hit the X key to rotate them. And this is really handy, especially when you're painting on a mask, because mask only accepts black, white, and all shades of gray. So this is just a quick introduction to the foreground background color swatches and how you can introduce color into them. Now let's get a bit more into all the ways that you can change the color of your foreground and background swatches. If you like this video, make sure you whack it, smack it, and crack a lack it. Yes! Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Actually, all kidding aside, I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider subscribing. I like subscribers. That's awesome. What? You just took one in the jugular, man. Huh. Whoa. Yes! <laughs> God. Oh my God, I did. This is Hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here.